lot of this you can learn directly from Google. Google has a starter, an SEO starter guide. Uh, this is available here. There's the URL, or you can Google, you can Google Google's SEO starter guide and, and find it that way. And if you have a webmaster, or if you have a student at your school who's really tech savvy, or or someone who runs your web, whoever it is that runs your website, get them to download this and get them to follow the 10 basic principles that Google puts into this starter guide. It's about a 20 page guide. It runs through the importance of page titles, the importance of URLs, uh, uh, the importance of uh, using meta tags. Some people ask the word meta tags, but they're, these are sort of hidden inside code where you insert keywords uh, and you insert a description. So it, it runs through the importance of doing, doing all those and how to do them properly so that Google can find your information. Uh, um, kind of an assumption that people seem to make about SEO or about Google is that Google wants to make it hard to find your site, but, but actually the, the reverse is far more true, of course. Google really wants your information. Google wants as much information about your school as you can possibly put on your website. So you need to take advantage of that when you think about search engine optimization uh, and search marketing. Any questions? Um, something I found with our school is there's times where I'll type our name directly into a Google search and our school will always come up. But then there's other sites that come up sometimes, but not all the time. Like sometimes our kids.net will come up um, you know, with our school name. Right. But then half hour later, you know, you can type it in again and it wouldn't be there. And I don't know what the consistency is and how you can control who you're with on the page. Right. Um, Google is always experimenting. Uh, Google, it, on average, I think uh, Google makes one daily change to its what, what's called its algorithm, which is the, the kind of um, s s smarts that, that crawl the web and, and determine the uh, relevance of any site or, or the validity of any site. So Google's making constant changes like that. Uh, that may be because you are, sometimes if you're logged into your personal account, it will remember that that, uh, that you're generally looking, that when you're looking for your school, you're, you're gonna go to your own site. Google will remember that based on your past history. So that may be a factor. Uh, and they're experimenting all the time. If they, if they can mix up results and, and find that a certain site has a better um, better interaction with users, that users stay on that site longer, uh, uh, they will generally rank that site higher over time. But they're gonna experiment and try different, and probably within their algorithm, they kind of give different different results to, to so see really people's reaction. Because I guess the idea would be, you typed in your student's name, right. your school, perhaps your Facebook page, ourkids.net, you know, like you right. would own virtually everything that they saw. And I guess you don't really have control to do that. No, you don't. And especially where, or in the case where, yeah. you're, say someone has put up, uh, say you're, you're worried about uh, reputation management, so someone can, someone can conceivably put up a, a page about your school, it could be negative. Possibly, but you do not have control of that. Google is Google is committed to giving people the most relevant results that they can find. So number four, this is a this is a SEO 101 uh, kind of concept. Uh, Google determines the relevance of your site based on links that go to your site. So. It focuses on how many links you have to your site. It focuses on the value of those links, of a link from something like CNN or say cbc.ca. A site like that is, has more value than, than a link from someone's personal website where it's only five pages or 
something like that. <laughs> but that being said, it's very important if you're concerned about showing up in search results, you want to get as many links to your site as possible. Uh, so if you are, s s sorry? So I just want to clarify what you mean by links. By okay. Link. So could you just explain that? Is that the number of people who click through from other sites? Okay. Is, is that the number of places that that a link to your school site is shown? Like what's the, dis what's the, okay, the question, links? question is what is a link? A link is any, any kind of permanent hyperlink from a blog, from a site, um, uh, from anywhere on the web that is going to stay there for any length of time. And that, that's all, and it, and it links to your site. And so when Google is kind of crawling through pages, it'll take that and count it against the number of referral links to your site? Right, right. <coughs> so, and, and it will also count that link against the value of say competitor links uh, are competitor sites as well, right? So, okay, the answer's good, okay. Um, all right, so, so if you have parents, uh, students, staff, anyone who has a website, get them to link to your site. Uh, um, there are also directory sites, this is kind of, kind of deep SEO. Um, if you were to hire an SEO company, they would get your site listed in directory sites so that your site would have more perceived value with Google as well. Um, and then a third, this, this is getting a little uh, heady, but, but I'll just throw it out there. Uh, if you use different anchor text to your school, if you can get people to use different anchor text to your school, it tells them different things about your, about your school. So. Example there, Great Lakes Christian High School. This would be the ink. This would be the, the actual text that's used to link to your site through the search engine. Uh, the search en the search engine believes that this is telling you something of telling users and and, uh, and the search engine itself what your site is about or what your school is about. Uh, number five, uh, I can't really get into AdWords too much. But I, I'm a strong advocate of using AdWords. I think everyone should buy ads in AdWords. Um, does anyone here advertise using AdWords? All right. We can see that when you look for boarding schools in Ontario, there are there are a few schools that do show up. Uh, Lighthouse Christian Academy. So these are schools that are buying ads. Basically, AdWords. Works on a on a bid basis. You bid on keywords. Um, you can show up in searches when people search for the keyword boarding schools in Ontario. You will show up here or there if you're lucky. But also, the the, the big advantage I think with uh, AdWords is let's skip this. The big advantage I think with AdWords is. You get viewed across the web. So any anytime someone, um, uh, Gmail is a great example. Someone someone has a, sends a Gmail to their friend and asks, do you know any good Waldorf schools in Mississauga? Your ad, if you're a Waldorf school in Mississauga, your ad is likely to show up on the right hand side, and that user may in fact click on your ad and go to your school and find out about your school, and all and all your pain is. Maybe maybe fifty cents a click, and you're getting a prospective client. 